Well, hello and welcome to the latest edition of Explore Richland. I'm your host, Mark Ingham. Well, today we are happy to be exploring at the historic Richland Parkway. This shopping mecca is comprised of an eclectic mix of local businesses. From amazing places to eat, to shops and businesses where you can find just about anything, the Richland Parkway has it all. Now, today we are excited to check out the newest tenant here at the Richland Parkway, Fuse. Let's go take a look. Wow, well, it is absolutely beautiful in here. In fact, it even has that new office smell to it. Well, we are happy to welcome Jess Stanglin to the program. Jess mm -hmm. is the community manager here at Hi. Fuse. Jess, thanks for joining us yeah, today. Yeah, thanks for coming. Thanks for being here. You bet. Well, you all made the exciting decision recently to move Fuse from basically across the street, you were near Howard Hamlin Park before, to the Richland yep. Parkway. Now, before we talk about the move and its benefits, we want to make sure people understand the amazing objective behind Fuse. Sure, so Fuse is a business and community accelerator. Um, as a business accelerator, we focus on entrepreneurs and startups in the community. Uh, as a community accelerator, last year we hosted and sponsored over 120 events oh, wow. covering all kinds of technology, creative, community development topics. Um, and then we are also this space. This is a co-working space. Um, it's a hub for small businesses, for startups, um, students and just really a great hub for the community to come together and learn. Wow, well, that's amazing and thanks for that. Yeah. Now we did mention that you did recently mm -hmm. move across the street, you know, here to the mm -hmm. Richmond Parkway. So how excited are you to put down new roots here in the parkway and what will this new space offer Fuse? Yeah, um, we love the parkway. We feel that the parkway really embodies a lot of similar characteristics to Fuse, that it's a dynamic community, mm -hmm. Um, there's a lot of unique businesses, and there's just so many different kinds of members and people that work together in collaboration. Um, so we hope with this space to really have it be kind of this launch pad for the next phases, not just for Fuse and the entrepreneurial ecosystem, but really for some positive development in the Tri-Cities. Wow, and let's just talk about the space in general. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's obviously a lot bigger than your previous yes. space, so maybe talk, talk a little bit about the, that. Sure, yeah, so our last space, um, we are about 5,000 square feet. This okay. building's over 10,000. Wow. Um, we, the building is purchased by some local investors, um, investment groups, and Fuse has a long-term lease with it. So we got the building in November. We went through two months of renovation. Um, we got the keys at the beginning of January, and then throughout January, we kind of finished the build out of everything, getting our beautiful furniture yeah. from Steelcase, um, building out our kitchen. Um, we have like a shower room, you know, oh, getting wow. the Wi Fi install, installed and the speakers and kind of all the high tech stuff. Um, so, we've invested a lot into this building and this space, knowing that, you know, for the next 10 years, we can grow into it, we, it can be flexible. Um, and it's not just a space for Fuse and for the co-working, mm -hmm. um, but we really built it all with an intention that it would be available for the community to use as well. Um, so it is a space that anyone can rent to reserve. Mm. Um, we can hold 140 people, which is a really good number. There's kind of just not that space in Tri-Cities right now to host mm -hmm. um, that amount of people. So it's great for like fundraisers, events, mm. that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, so we have our main space, we have two conference rooms, we have a podcast studio wow. and a photo studio. Well, Jess, I'm going to sound like a broken record because I just keep saying how, how beautiful this new space is. And I'm curious now, how can people become involved with Fuse? Sure, yeah. So if you're an individual, uh, we have memberships. Fuse is a membership-based mm -hmm. co-working space. Um, so we have memberships for 24-7 co-working. Okay. And all that information, too, is on our website, FuseSPC.com. Also for individuals, there's the option to get involved in this community. So you could get involved in a few other ways if it's not necessarily membership. Um, I'm always looking for people that want to host or help organize events, either for Fuse or around the community, and love to just talk about how that might happen. Um, and also for more professional services, we have a mentorship program where um, this is a service that we're providing for our entrepreneurs and our startups that are just getting started and they have a lot of questions. They don't mm -hmm. know, you know, where to always go for the advice and guidance. 
Um, so that's something that we are developing and um, have had some great success already with yeah. is the mentorship program. Wow. Yeah, so if you're a business or a company, there's also ways to get involved. We have our business partnerships okay. that help support all of our programming and also there's some social media consultation with that. Mm -hmm. um, so just kind of helping build that marketing, that collaboration mm -hmm. and really showcasing the partnership. Um, and then businesses can also get involved in the mentorship like I was talking about earlier. So. Okay, wow, well, that's great, it's very exciting. Yeah. Well, you know, and the creative minds here at Fuse have created an inspiring question and answer series called the Fireside Chat. Can you enlighten us about that? Yeah, so the Fireside Chat was actually started by two of our members. Um, they had seen it on stage in Austin and they wanted to bring it back to Fuse. So our community development committee puts that on and it's just a really cool, um, really cool event that happens quarterly. Okay. And it's kind of like getting to eavesdrop on a conversation mm. between two people and we always select um, a speaker that is some kind of mover shaker but maybe oh. not so much in the media or people don't always know about it. Mm. Um, so we like to bring that out in them. And I'm sure people can go to Fuse's website to find out the dates and times of upcoming fireside chats. Yep. You bet. Okay, well, Fuse was established in Richland back in 2014, and now I'm really excited to talk about success stories that you've had come, come into your walls here. How many businesses and startups have, you know, Fuse been a catalyst for? Yeah, so we have launched over 84 companies wow. out of Fuse, and that was from... 2016 statistics so wow. I know for sure it has gone up since then mm -hmm. um, and yeah there's been uh, some pretty well-known names that we've promoted a lot some big hitters like Gravis Law, Wildland, um, i3 Global, Solar Spirits all wow. those companies started at Fuse um, and what's been really cool to see is and just in my time of being here, um, is that a lot more women have been stepping into the roles of CEOs and co-founders. Mm. Um, so we've had some great success stories like Humming Hemp, um, which is run by entrepreneur Hillary Kelsey oh, wow. and her partner, Max Schneider. Um, and their products can be found, um, they, mm -hmm. they sell all natural hemp-based products and they can be found in Albertsons and Safeways all up and down the West Coast. Um, we've got Thrive Fitness, which is an outdoor adventure um, business started by Sarah Lingley. Wow, that's great. That's exciting. <laughs> and I want to ask you maybe why that is. Do you have a, a, a reason maybe of, of why that is? I think that the more women that are willing to step into those roles and get involved, the more inspiring it is to have their friends, their families, their former colleagues. Um, want to do it too you mm -hmm. know there's kind of this sense that well if she could do it I could do it too and so it's really just been an empowering thing to see and mm -hmm. witness and really help be a part of and cultivate that's amazing you know and it is an exciting time in Fuse's history new building new classes new furniture mm -hmm. I mean a lot of news you know what do you want to offer the people of the Tri-Cities with this new space yeah, I think, you know, the Tri-Cities, I, I was born and raised here, and I've seen it grow and change so much in the time that I've lived here. And I just see so much more potential that could be there. Um, having lived elsewhere in big cities and experienced what some of those things are, I'm excited to be a part of it at Fuse of really cultivating and manifesting that in our community and mm -hmm. so really that's what Fuse is about like it's about people coming together that want to start something new whether it's a new business or it's a community event so to really just like grow upon that to grow businesses to grow entrepreneurs um, to be educating them so that they're successful and they're sustainable and they're long-lasting um, and I think really ultimately long-term goals are to bring in some of those high-tech jobs. You know, we're really well positioned being so close to Seattle, being close to Portland. We've got the labs, we have the highest per capita PhDs, mm. and we should be the next Silicon Desert. So that's something that we're really focusing on and driving in kind mm -hmm. of a long-term idea. Um, 
Yeah. Wow, well, well <laughs> said, and that's a very motivating way to end this program. And yeah. we're definitely looking forward to seeing how Fuse you know, grows with the, the city of Richland in, in the coming years. So I'd like to thank Jess yeah. Stanglin for coming on the program thank and talking you. to us. Jess is the community manager here at Fuse. And of course, if you would like more information on Fuse, you can visit them online. Their webpage is www.fusespc.com. And don't forget, if you'd like more information on the city of Richland, you can visit us on our webpage, www.ci.richland.wa.us. And of course, if you're a social media type person, you can find us on all the popular social media platforms. Log on and give us a like on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We're always sharing tons of important information on those social media platforms. Well, I'm Mark Ingham, and thanks for joining me on this edition of Explore Richland. Now, before I leave, I'm going to have to have Jess take me downstairs to the, yeah. the photography studio because that's a place I can see okay. myself. Oh, I want to go photography. Oh, okay. Because that's a place I can see myself cool. spending a lot of time. So let's go check it out. All right. <laughs>